So this is math 24. It's about differential equations. So all you're going to learn in this class is mostly how to solve differential equations. And what we're going to do today is just go over an introduction, how I'm going to run the class, how you're going to take exams, homework, all that stuff. And then if you have questions, we need to make sure that we get all your questions answered before we log out by the end of today's class. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do on the, uh, in my case, I'm going to click on student view because your screen looks different than mine. Yours is going to look like this on Canvas. Almost everything we're going to be doing from files and exams, homework, everything is going to be on Canvas. So you must learn how to use Canvas. Okay, so um, I hope everyone can log into Canvas. Did everyone log into Canvas? If yes, then uh, on the left hand side, we have the syllabus tab. Do you see it? The syllabus. So this is a differential equations course. This is just like the beginning of differential equations or introduction to differential equations. You can take more and more classes on differential equations. I personally took about five beyond this class. Um, it This class can be fun if you're good with derivatives and integrals. If you're not good with derivatives and integrals, this will be a difficult class for you. Um, the book we're going to be using is the first course in differential equations. It says the classic fifth edition. It has to, you have to get the one that says classic fifth edition. Because the same guy wrote several textbooks, but this one is the one with the classic fifth edition. That's what the department chose to use, and then we just have to go with it. It's a four units. This section number is 6240. Keep that number in mind. Supposed to meet the uh, five to six fifty in person, but it will be online because what is going on nowadays. This is my email address. That's the only way you can reach me. Um, don't call this number. No one is going to answer. So the way we're going to run the class, we're going to meet every Monday at this time. And the first thing I'm going to do during on a Monday class, I'm going to go over any questions you have for me. And then some people might say, go over this concept. You know, I don't understand something there. Can you give more examples on this stuff and things like that? So that's something uh, I'm going to be doing on Mondays. If in case no one has questions or we still have some time, uh, I might go ahead and lecture the next section and record it and upload it instead of lecturing. Uh, on the side this way we can save time uh, there will be no Wednesday meetings unless if there's an exam date and I'll show you that on the syllabus so I'll be recording videos and uploading them to a channel on YouTube and I'll give you the URL for that channel so there will be a playlist for differential equations you're gonna be using on the top of this, on Mondays, Wednesdays, every Monday, Wednesday, I'm going to be holding office hours from 10.45 a.m. to 2 p.m. And Wednesdays from 12.15 to 2 p.m. and by appointment. Canvas will be our first thing to be using here for homework assignments. They will be uploaded on Canvas. You guys are going to go to assignments and click on, let's say, homework one and upload the assignments. How are you going to do the homework? You're going to do it on a piece of paper. Um, leave one inch margin on all sides and then what needs to be done is you can use any scanning application you like to use there are two most common ones you're gonna see them later on on the syllabus those are free there's a lot of them are free and then you can use uh, any of them to scan all the homework um, pages and then upload them to Canvas. It says the exams also will be posted on Canvas. I'm going to be posting a lot of announcements. It's your responsibility to check that out. 
and what are we going to be doing i will come back and show you how to manage the notifications in canvas this way you don't miss anything the syllabus will be also in canvas as you can see it right now the assignments are supposed to be the students they're supposed to after you do the scanning is to email it to yourself first okay and then upload it to canvas if you email me any assignment I delete it right away I do not read assignments by email because things will get messy okay so um, if you like to write on a piece of paper or you like to type it out you like to write on notepad iPad whatever you like to do it on for the homework assignments that's fine as long as there's nothing missing or cut off and it's readable do not scan it upside down do not send me homework the, where the pages are not in chronological order because it takes more time for me to grade it for you. And this is for the homework, for the exams. You need to scan it. So the way it works with exams is you, you I upload the file on Canvas and unlock it at the time the class starts. It will be proctored live on Zoom. Each one has to have a camera for the exam, not for the lecture notes, but for the exams. And then as soon as the exam is open, you can download it, print it out and take it. If you don't have a printer, it's fine. You can write the questions down during the first five minutes and then leave a space for each question. And then you can't look at the computer anymore. During the exam, you must place your camera about four, at least four or five feet away from your desk. This way I can see you and your desk at the same time. This will be a requirement. What well, so, if I physically can't do that? How you can do this? Tell me. Uh, I have a desktop computer and the camera is mounted to it and it's a work computer and I'm at my work. So I can't move the camera. Then you, If you can't move, move the camera, camera, you can bring another desk and move yourself with the desk somewhere else. You have to yeah. find a way around this because if it, if it doesn't show what I need, I will not take your exam. You know, I got a lot, I had a lot of trouble this summer with this thing and then I don't want to go through it again. That's why I listed everything on the syllabus. Excuse me, professor. Yes. Uh, so, uh, like, let's say we had a laptop and the camera was just on the laptop. So, did you want to just get like a separate camera? Like, IBC has cameras, right? Like, to rent out. I mean, even if it's well, on the laptop, you just move your laptop five feet away from your desk. Put your laptop on any chair, any table, anything. Oh, true. You don't have to buy another camera. Professor, so, um, what I understand from your comment was just you just have to see me, myself, and my face, and I'm solving the problem, and you have to see the paper. I right. just need to see your desk and your body, all your body, not just your face or just your desk. Yeah, so like, can you see myself right now? Like, do you have to see like this? My camera and my notes right now is this fine for you uh, no it has to be on the side where i can see all your face not your face cut off so look trust me look you're not a kid you will find a way around this if you do it this way i'm not going to see what's on your desk and if you bring the camera down i'm not going to see your face so this there's no way to argue about this you must find a way to place your camera where i can see all your desk and your body, your face. There's no other way to argue about this. You're the first professor. Yeah, I, I, have, the, I have the same question about uh, with the Mohammed that had. So. so he still said, I still don't understand how we should use our camera if it's mounted to a desk computer. You just move yourself, bring a small table or something, leave your laptop or desktop where it is and sit on another table, which is about four or five feet away from the camera. It doesn't matter if the camera is mounted to a desktop or laptop, as long as you show me the whole area. So I discussed it the first time, the first day of class, 
because if you think this is something you can do, probably I have no other option for you. You're the, you're the first professor to have make this requirement and it's... No, that's not true. We had a meeting, we have about 50 professors and all of them were talking about these cameras. So I don't see what this is bothering you about the camera. I'm saying this is my first class this semester and this is the first time I've run into this over these three semesters. And, yes. Uh, no, I mean, I need to proctor the exam because we went through a lot of cheating in the summer, so I don't want to go through this again. So if you think you are confident about what you're learning and you're not going to go cheat, there's no reason for anybody to argue with me. Uh, yes, but I'm trying, trying to... What you're asking. What is it? Other than the fact that I can't physically do what you're asking. That you I, can. Here's, here's my room. This is... I, I don't have a way for me to move a desk or put another desk in here. This yeah, is so so that's out. all I need. That's all I need. So as if you turn around and face the desk, that's all I need. You don't have to move. There's no, desk here. There's no space for you to put another table here. No, no, no. I'm not saying put another table. On your right hand side, isn't that a table or something? Right. Yeah, that's all I need. Yes. Yes, that's all I need. Yes, that's all I need. That's I can see you. I can see your desk. That's all I need. Is that okay, Zach? Yeah. That's all I need. If, that, if that's okay for you, then of course. That didn't didn't uh, seem like it was what you were looking for, but okay. Yeah. So, um, my problem is I'm using 14-inch laptop with me, and my camera is mounted on my laptop. Yes. And if I if I move my camera like this, so you, you can, can you, like, you, I, I have Yeah, let me tell you I'm, what you need I'm, to do. I, I know what you're doing. I, I tell you, you need yes. to put it on your side, on your either left side or right side. Oh, so it's so you have to have So like this. if if you see what Zach did, Zach yes, was sitting fine, Yeah, something like this. As long as you move it maybe one more feet away from you, so I need to see it. Is still cut off. Are you okay with that? I'm just trying to... Um, Listen, I, I'm not here to argue about this now. And I'm trying to argue. Yeah, but this I'm is... Let me tell you, let me tell you. You can go through this yourself. And this is not that difficult. You can go through this yourself. Test it later on after class. And make sure maybe you want to move a little bit to the left. Maybe you want to sit in a different room. I don't know, but I need to see... All, all your body and your like your desk. I need to see that this is you, not somebody else. And there's no reason for us to argue about this. This is very important for me. Maybe I'm, I'm sure someone is laughing in the background because of this. You know, there's hundreds of ways to go around this. You can buy a wireless camera. You can buy a, a camera that has a. Uh, it's only like nine dollars or something on Amazon. You can buy a camera with a cable that is six feet long. There's so many ways to get around this. So find a way around this. Okay, and we do not want to argue about this later on. Something like this, would this be okay, Professor? That's totally fine. That's all I need. That's more than enough. So you can put it on your side and then show me what, where you're at. So that's what I want from you guys. Okay, so that's the next step. Now, when it comes to the exam, after you are done, you will be scanning the, um, the exam using your phone. And there are a lot of applications on the phones. So someone is saying, why do you assume everyone has a phone? I don't know how you're going to scan it then. How do you, how are you going to get the exam to me then? So if you don't have the phone, you can email me and then we'll see what we can do. But there has to be a way around this. I mean, I can, how am I going to get the test from you? You, you can go to FedEx. And yeah, but then, but then, when, wait a minute. You can leave the test room while you're taking the test. You know, I mean, it's just common sense. We're not kids. 
You can't go to FedEx and then fax it to me or email it to me or something. So, so that's something that everyone has to be ready for. So that's about the exams. Now, when it comes to your exams, one thing important to know, the way you upload the exams, if the exam is a two hour long, you will have about 20 more minutes or so to you know download the exam, scan it, upload it back into Canvas. So you will get this extra time to do the work. And the, at the same time, when you are done, you're gonna scan it, email it to yourself first because some students, they have their phone set up in a different language. You know, maybe, um, so maybe let's say um, someone has like something in a different, the phone is set up in a different language. So when you scan it and upload it right away to Canvas, it will show uh, foreign characters in them. And then it, when I download your exam to grade it, I would not be able to, to upload it back so you can see it because Canvas doesn't take none like foreign characters. And if I try to change the name, it doesn't take it. It has to match the name that you originally assigned to the file. So that's why the best thing you can do for homework and exams is first scan them, then upload it, uh, to email it to yourself, and then download download it back to the desktop, rename it, give it a good name under your name, maybe your name exam one or exam one your name, and then upload to Canvas. So for the for the homework, you will have you know a lot of time to to do some testing on that. But then just keep in mind when you upload anything to Canvas, if it's homework or exams you will have only one chance to do so. Why is that? Well, because I used to have it open for everybody, for everyone to upload the exams as many times, but then I end up like having people uploaded many times, or they upload them one page at a time. We need it as one PDF file, otherwise it's not easy to grade. And then when people upload m m multiple versions of the exam, I was like, which one should I grade? Is it this one or this one? Should I grade the first one or the last one they uploaded? And then people go start arguing with me like, no, I wanted to grade this one, not that one. So that's why you will have one chance to upload it. Um, and, and while you're taking the exam and you're done, let's say after one hour, usually people wait for me that they want to scan it. Then they can take their phone and scan it and upload it. After they upload it, they, t they text me on the chat or message me. They saying, you know, I'm done. I upload it. And before they log out, I go on Canvas and check, make sure you uploaded the right file. There's nothing missing. This way you don't lose uh, points. Um, so the next thing is, um, as you can see here, it says one PDF file. Any blank assignment you upload to Canvas, you get no points, as some people do that to buy it more time. Any missing pages will not accept it later on. Sometimes people don't finish everything on time, so they upload whatever they are done with, and then two hours later, they email me the rest of the papers. That will not be accepted, just so we are fair with everyone. Um, you can read through respect and diversity statements that I typed here. We're gonna be using Zoom uh, to run the sessions. Zoom is our main tool here. If I something goes wrong, like my internet drops or something, then um, you know, wait for two, three minutes for us to reconnect. Okay, and before we move on, let me see, we have some questions over the chat. You know, I mean, this this thing about the laptop and I don't have a space and, I, you know, if you are arguing about this at this moment, you are making your life difficult. You know, you're not living in a jail cell one feet by one foot. I mean, come on, the, the smallest room you can ever have, even if you live in a dorm, might be like five feet by something. 
you got enough space where you can view what you are working on. And so please, we do not need to argue about this anymore or someone to go through this. You can email me later on and I'll tell you the answer to your questions. I'm not asking you to go buy a table or buy anything, but you have something at home. It can be a luggage, it can be a chair, it can be anything where you can put something on the top. You can put your laptop or your desktop as long as you move it around. So that's what it is. Now, Anton is saying, how will you scan your papers then? You will scan them using your phone. The phone you download, uh, there are two uh, applications. I mean, there's hundreds of them, but I would recommend two of them and you can use either one. All these applications are free of charge. Um, if you try them today, download them and try them, you see how easy to use. Very easy. I've been using them for five years. Professor, yeah. That was, that was a response to Edwin. Who oh, oh. Can you proctor your test with your phone? And I was just asking them, how would you scan your papers if you're using your phone to proctor it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what happens is if someone is using the phone while we are proctoring it, then during the scanning, I would not be able to see you, if that makes sense. So, I mean, I don't mind you do that, but when you are scanning, let me know, and then it will give you about two, three minutes for you to do the scanning. Um, you can read through course description prerequisite SLOs, and the homework is we would like you to have uh, neat, clean homework and complete. We will look for completeness. If you can do a question here and there, I'm not going to take off that many points, maybe none, as long as you attempt all the questions. And make sure you write your name on the homework, just the first page. Um, you must scan them in chronological order. So put them in that order, please. Don't just give me answers, but explain why this is this, why is that, how you solved it. Um, maybe it, this one is up to you to start on a new page or not. It, it, this works best when if it's in person. Uh, while in Math 24, we're going to have, we must use Mabel stuff. The Mabel is, must be used. It's not an option. And one thing I want you to do is, is to download this. Download this the Mabel here for free. And this is the activation code. I would, I would recommend you do it right now. Do not wait for later on because we have a limited number of usage for this one. So I hope everyone clicked on this link, download link, and then use the code to activate it. Will you be available during exams? Of course, I'm going to be proctoring live on Zoom. Who's going to be available then? Who's going to proctor it? So this uh, Mabel code was provided to us by IVC Tech. They said, provide this to your students. And they said, this is the activation code. Hudson, what happened? You tried downloading and what did it say? Is Did it say the activation code is invalid or something? Uh, so yeah, I tried it earlier and I'm not sure maybe it's because like there's a limited amount of users that are allowed to have it at one time. But when I entered in the code for it, it just wouldn't go through. It would say, um, like basically, I'm not sure if the activation code wasn't correct or basically there just wasn't enough like uh, available users to use it. But yeah, it didn't work earlier today. Did you select, there's two boxes. Did you select the personal or the network? I did the personal. Should I have tried the network? Uh, I don't know why I asked you that because I can't remember what I did, but I think I did the network. Okay, I'll try that again then. Yeah, it worked for me. Okay, so uh, for this class, we're going to have three proctored exams. Each one worth 100 points and a comprehensive final also proctored 200 points. 
Those exams will be taken during the class time, Monday, Wednesday, either Monday or Wednesday. I'll show you in the bottom of the syllabus down there what day is going to be on. And then after you finish your exam, you are going to scan your ID just for the first exam, not every exam. The ID can be student ID, high school, college, driver's license, California ID, passport, anything that has your photo on it and get scanned on probably like you place it on the first page of the of the of the exam and then scan it with the test itself and then upload it to canvas so homework the homework will be assigned from the textbook and i'll show you the homework problems uh, projects there will be three projects each one worth 30 points that's what all the professors are doing in this class and the total would be out 690. So you need that min minimum points to get an A, B, C, D, etc. In the bottom below the grading, there is a, a grade that we start using at IVC called FW instead of F. The FW is meant for to, to work in a way that if some students, what they do, they wait until about a month or so before the end of the semester and they stop showing up. They don't take the final and we don't see them anymore. And I can't drop them, they don't drop themselves. So the admissions office would like to know that this person is doing so, so then they can forward this to the financial aid office and other services on campus. This way, people, that the financial aid office is going to say, hey, we're paying you money to attend the class, but you stopped attending. What's going on? You know, they, they make it a little bit more difficult later on when you need to, um, you know, get financial aid. Respectful participation, please, like while we're in class, turn off your phones and or ke at least keep your your microphones muted unless if you have questions. Um, this is about academic honesty policy. You can read through all of this. It's very important. If you get caught cheating in any way or another, you know, we are asked to give you zero on the assignment and report you to IVC. DSPS, if you are a DSPS student, do not wait until the exam date because this is not something you can do in person anymore. You have to reach out to the DSPS office maybe this week. Let them know what's going on. They will schedule an appointment with you. Sometimes it can take days for you to get an appointment. And then when you get the appointment and get the paperwork done, email them to me. Uh, just so you know, uh, IVC does not accept Saddleback uh, accommodations. So it has to come from IVC. So if you are IVC student and you're taking a class at Saddleback, the class, if you take a Saddleback, the accommodations, they must come from Saddleback. If you take an IVC class, the accommodations, they have to come from the DSPS office at IVC, not Saddleback. Just so we, clear, we are clear about this. Uh, we have uh, IVC Math Center. You can, uh, they can help you with online homework sizes, textbook homework problems, worksheets, class notes, examples, anything you need help with, they can do that. Uh, I place the, the URL for the math center here. These are their hours. But at the same time, you know, if you go there, you're going to see their phone number and uh, other information you need to know. But at the same time, you need to enroll in this class. It's free of charge and, and it's a zero unit course, non-credit. It's not going to affect your GPA or anything, but you must enroll in this to be able to use the math center. For calculators, I don't ask you to buy any calculators at all. You can use uh, online calculators. There's so many ways to uh, download those. I'll show you two links where you can download online calculators. You can use Desmos. Uh, that's uh, stuff important. Yeah, I'll try to write exams where calculus is not, they are not needed. So you don't need a calculator for the exam. Here, just quick tips about how to study, how to do homework. And here are all the topics we're going to or required to cover in this, in this class. Then we come to the homework assignment page. From each section, there's a homework, like from section one, one, you're required to do one, two, three, five, nine, et cetera. 
from 1, 2, you're required to do 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, 13, 18, all the way to 8.2. See, not a lot of questions in each section. Do you notice that? It's like, I, I don't want to give them too much work to do. Only maybe 4.3, maybe that's a very easy section. This is our schedule, which is subject to change. Uh, today, like this week or today before Wednesday, we're going to go over like introduction today. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to upload the video today for section 1.1. 1 .1. Um, that I recorded and I just have to upload it to, Can to uh, YouTube. Someone is asking, are there extra problems set? We do. There's no extra problem set. That's all you have to do from the textbook. And then, you know, this week we will finish 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, and 2-1. If you need extra practice problems, you can use the examples in the book and you can do other questions. So if I assign 1, 5, 9, you can do 3 and, and 7 or something, and 9. So you will have a lot of problems in the book. Do we just use our class textbook for homework problems? Yes. Or can we use other textbook for study for the course? You can use any textbook to study, no problem. But the homework problems are from this textbook. If there is an exam, let's say there is an exam here on this day. It's a Wednesday. So we must meet on that Wednesday to give you the exam. Same thing on October 7. Same thing on October 18. All these homework assignments, homework one to five, there's only five of them. It tells you here which each one, homework one covers these sections, homework two covers these sections, and so on and so forth. That's important. Uh, what is it? And uh, I just had a question. Uh, yeah. I'm still kind of confused. So when do we meet on Zoom? Uh, we meet on Mondays, like today, as we do, do today. And the first, like, I don't know, 5, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I don't know, depending how many questions people have. I will go over those questions. Uh, if someone has, like, a concept or would like me to go over, I will do so. Like, people want to say, you know... I don't understand what you said in the video here. Can you explain this concept? So I'll go over that. And if, if we have more time, you know, and then maybe there's no video recorded for that next section, I would go over that section and lecture it as, you know, live lecturing. And I will record it at the same time and then upload it to YouTube just in case if someone misses the class. So they have the recorded version of for the lesson. Um, so everything we do, all these sections you saw here, there will be videos for them. So you can go back and watch them at any time. So we only meet on Monday, Mondays and then the Wednesday one, we're just watching videos unless we have an exam. Yes. Yeah. So on several days, like exam one, two, three, and the final, and there's no class. Those are the ones on Wednesdays. Technology wise, you know, we recommend Cam Scanner for applications to scan or scan pod. Uh, if you have an iPhone, there's an application already integrated to it. I think it's called Notes. You may try it, scan something today. Um, you know, you see how we spend a lot of time explaining to students how to do these things. And then uh, what happens is I. I come across students in the summer, I came across them that they, they say, how am I going to scan this? Where should I start? They never tried it before. So they end up like wasting a lot of time during the exam. If you come across any technical issues, you can call IVC Tech. This is their phone number. They open at seven in the morning, most of the days. And then, um, if you can't reach to them or after hours, email them. They will get back to you next morning. I personally cannot help with technical because I can't see on your what's going on on your end, but they can. 
so the recorded videos will be uh, available on a channel it says coming soon I, I will upload it now like update it now the link for that these are two links where you can download online calculators those are free as well the first one is for the TI-84 plus and that's what I have on my uh, laptop or the other laptop and the other one is just another one if you like it all the notes when we write I write using OneNote you can access all the notes even if you have the videos and you like to see my writing you can click on this link throughout the semester and find and access the notes so what I'm doing I'm just opening right now there's nothing in there written but um, I want to show you something when you click on it for the first time it takes time to load but uh, after it loads the first time it, it shouldn't take that long time so here we got all the sections there's nothing written there yet but all the sections are gonna be here if you need to click on any section you can just click on this it will open the next one and next one and so on and so forth so if you click on 1.1 you will see the notes here they're not here yet but you will see them here now one one issue students come across is that they tell me oh the writing is so big like it doesn't fit the screen what am I gonna do with this and the way I tell them to do it is there's many ways to to resolve this issue one way if you're using Windows so you can go control plus or minus at the same time and you can click many times as many times as you like that will do like zoom in zoom out and then eventually will fit into the screen another way to do it if you're using Mac uh, there's also a shortcut I don't know what it is um, I know there is one someone in the summer shared it with us and I forgot what it is but if you know it, you can share it with us over the chat uh, or you can Google it shortcut for zoom in and zoom out on Mac um, the other way to do this on OneNote in the upper left corner usually there are four tabs one of them says view you know Evan is the computer guy so he said you do option and command equal I don't know I never use Mac so he said and minus instead of equal if if what zoom zoom out right you guys can try it now see if it's working if not on the upper left corner there's a tab called view you click on the view and then you will see two small signs one plus one minus those are for zoom in zoom out On the topic of OneNote, can we do our exams in OneNote and send you the, the PDF directly from OneNote? Uh, I do not recommend that because you will not be able to use tablets on the exam. Okay, it's now back to the syllabus if no one has any questions. So you see all these assignments, those are under assignments. So if you go back to assignments, so that's where you're gonna upload the homework. See here, that's the due date, but I'm gonna go back and uh, relax this date here, August 31st. Maybe someone wants to upload it before that, maybe make it the 29th. And so every date here, the beginning date, I'm gonna make it two days earlier. But the deadline is gonna stay as is. So for this, there's 20 points, this 100 points, 30 points, and so on and so forth. You can see that's your work for the semester. now um, under people if you click on people you're gonna see the name of all your classmates in the summer we had students use that by uh, trying to form groups of study they work together and someone decided to be a leader and we had like several leaders for the class each one had like four or five students to work with 
and they just communicate with each other. Okay, so you can form a group there um, and you know, reach out to everybody, see who's gonna be interested to study with you. You can uh, use Google Hangouts or you can use Zoom, you know, create a Zoom. Okay. So Matthew is sharing something with us. He said, I made a class Discord for us so we can help each other throughout the semester if we have questions with anything. That's a good one. So that's good. Please see the chat, what Matthew is saying. Now the next one is about announcements. In the announcements page, I'll announce a lot of them. Um, I set up our automatic announcements to remind you, to tell you, hey guys, there's a test tomorrow, make sure you study, or hey guys, on the day of the homework is due date at eight in the morning, you will be receiving an automatic announcements to remind you that tonight is the, or today is the homework due date, just to make sure you're okay. Can you make homework available beginning of the week? Uh, homework is is now available right now like you can go ahead right now and start working on the homework if you have the textbook and but uh, that, that homework where it says assignments that's when you will be able to upload it to canvas but you can work on it today starting today someone is asking this in the chat Now, on the home page, I created modules here, uh, one for welcome. If you click on it, you will see a welcome message and about the exams and some tech information that match the one on the syllabus. And then the one note, just in case, because uh, throughout the summer, we send so many announcements and kids always come back to me. Where's the one note link? I need to see it. I lost. I don't know what it is. It's here on the main page. You click on OneNote link and you will find it. You will find it there. The homework is still locked. There's no locked homework. The lock is just for you to upload it. Please understand me. The homework is from the textbook and the homework problems are listed in the syllabus. So you can open your book right now and go to syllabus and on a piece of paper, start doing the homework. This is the homework problems. They are here. They are here. From 1-1, one, one, you need to do this problem, this, 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 this. So just watch the video and then come and do this. And when you say homework one, you just mean all of chapter one, and then homework two is all of two. No, not necessary. See, homework oh, one yes. covers these yes. sections. Homework two covers this. Got it. Yeah, I didn't see it below. Thanks. Any questions for me about anything? Now, on the top of our Monday and Wednesday classes, we have office hours. So what are the office hours? Office hours are designed mainly for you to come and ask questions. So if you can't, you know, come to do the 5 p.m. class or you came to 5 p.m. and I don't know, you did not ask question or something happens or you would like to ask questions earlier. Um, let me check if I put that on the syllabus. If not, I will add it today. Uh, here, I put it here, virtual office hours. Those are different than our standard meeting from five to 6.50. Those are for you to log in uh, during those times and ask me any questions. Monday from 10.45 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wednesdays from 12.15 to 2 p.m. And if you can make any of these or the classes, we can set up an appointment. So those are the office hours. There's five office hours per week. You can come and ask any questions. Now, which link do you use for office hours? It's here. For Monday office hours, you click on this and you're gonna find it here. Now, the only thing, um, I, I want you to watch for the office hours. It says 1045. 
but the Zoom meeting says 10.30, which is okay because Zoom does not allow me to go, it only goes by a 30 minute increment, okay? Uh, and then, and what happened is I set it earlier than later. So even if it's set at 10.30, you can still log in at 10.45, at 11, it doesn't matter. And this set for the entire, for the rest of the semester. Um, the same thing for the Monday, uh, for the Wednesdays. If you want to do the Wednesdays, it's going to be different link. So that's the Wednesday one. Now people ask, do we, uh, do we do exam review? Um, do we have exam review PDFs? Uh, or okay. So sometimes uh, I do type like kind of like sample questions. I ask you to do them. Uh, sometimes I prefer to like review with you guys together with you and then like we I write something similar to the question on the test and then we go over it together in class like kind of like review this way if someone has questions they can ask at that minute like really right there uh, to set an appointment for office all you have to do is just email me so the only way that you can communicate with me is through uh, using email so if you click on syllabus that's my email address down here All these are good questions. Keep asking. Are we allowed to use calculus during exams? Um, I I don't think so. I mean, if you need a calculator, I'll let you know. But usually, if you need a calculator, it would be like scientific calculator. I don't want people to go, you know, pay a hundred something dollars to buy a calculator. So I'll try to uh, design the test so calculator is not needed. Saves you. It saves you money. What else we have? Now, uh, one thing about the textbook, you know, um, does anyone have a PDF file for the textbook? Uh, I have one. If you like, if you have the PDF file, you can email it to me um, or share it here. If, if it's a downloadable one, share it on the chat and then I can upload it to Canvas. So this way people can save money on the textbook. I'm not sure if I have one. I, I, I do have the physical code. I'm sending one to you, um, Professor Yusuf. It's... Yeah, send it to me yeah, and then I will upload it's it. On, it's coming through on Zoom. It's going to take a bit. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the other, anyone has any other questions for me about anything? Professor? Yes. Um, is there any extra credits? Uh, I think this is Albert because Albert always asks these questions. So uh, yes, I do give extra credit around the like last week or two of the semester. Okay. Thank you. Bida. Is Bida there? A long time no see. It's been years, maybe. But I recognize your name as soon as I saw it. Oh, thanks. I, I, I was thinking it was you. I wasn't very sure. And then how's your sister? Oh, Lily's doing well. She's in high school right now. Oh, okay. Already in high school. Yeah, it's been that long. Yeah. So here I have, I, I know some of you from either middle school, high school, or... I don't know, somewhere else, or maybe took a former, like a, a 3B, 3A from me before. Let me see, how many do I know? Let's check. Uh, I know Albert, you know, Albert is a troublemaker, so that's how I remember him. I, I, had, I had Albert in my chemistry class, so I know what you're talking about. Oh, the Albert, the first Albert. Yeah, I know a few people here. Oh, okay. Not as a troublemaker. As you. So Dalen, uh, uh, you know, shared the file with us. Thank you, Dalen. Um, we'll try to download it. Could not preview and then, okay, download. Download anyways. 
I don't know where where Dylan got that from. Yeah, Let's I sent see. you mine on a first private chat. It, it's halfway to you. I wanted you to be able to review it, make sure it was the right one before it. Okay. Um. Of course, I know Seth with that, you know, background. You know what that background set is? Let me see what Seth said in the chat. It's a fractal. It's a Mandel Mandelbrot set. Mandelbrot right? set, yes. And you have it on your on your uh, T-shirt. One of your T-shirts. As far as I remember. Uh, we I know Avin. And who else we know? Andrew. Andrew. Um, so, Professor, for next class, are we just doing a video for Wednesday? Yes, there will be videos for two sections. Okay. Thank you. But we can't show up to the class live, correct? Yeah, unless if someone needs help, you know, I can go online, no problem. Like, so originally, I just... I just like uh, download, like record all the videos, upload to YouTube, and then come online for questions. Andrew, are you the the high school Andrew? Where's Andrew? Andrew, can you hear us? It's high school Andrew, yes. Andrew Pan. Who else do I know? And do I know any other one? You know Connor. Connor? Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Hi yeah. Connor. Hello. You used to <laughs> sit you sit on the first row. Uh, no. What? <laughs> okay, you are the then you are the other corner, the one you used to sit next to Albert on his left side or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We had two. Who else? Uh, I know all my students, like even after 10 years, I'll remember who you are. I like in person more than online. Um, I wish it's in person. It's more yeah. fun, actually. It's more fun, more interactive. Yeah. So let's see. Um, as soon as the book downloads, I will share it on Canvas with all of you guys. This way you don't have to buy the book. If you know, you don't need the, to buy it. If you have this, just save money. Uh, maybe. Yeah, 15 minutes to go. It's almost there. Uh, someone sent it to me already. And I, let me see. Let's click on save. Save as. It's downloading to the desktop. What else? Share with me any questions you have. Guys, do you see the, do you see? About the projects? Yeah, one minute, I'll come to projects. Thank you, Zach. So Zach shared the link with us. Thank you, Zach. So I'll also download that just in case. I know where you got it from, Zach. Oh yeah? Yep. That's scary. No, it's not scary. It's just the name, the file name. If you look at the file name at the end, you would know. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I... Right? <laughs> yeah, my file browser wasn't open long enough to be able to see the end. I could only see the first where it says first course differential and then it was the end of what it said yeah yeah okay so Hilal is saying are you able to add more students so I want to see um, how many people we have by the end of like maybe by tomorrow and then if you know some people drop some people sometimes you get everybody stay in class so it depends on that and then based on that uh, you know, I'll make a decision to add. I'll try to add like a couple more uh, 
Although before in person we were not allowed to, but uh, we had a meeting a couple days ago and we were told that you can take, you know, a couple more people, um, uh, you know, beyond the, the, the maximum limit. What should I enter for the license server prom prompt for the Mabel installation? Guys, help him for the license is the code, you know, this code, let me check. This, isn't it, the activation code? You can go on Canvas, copy and paste this one. Uh, someone had a question about Mabel. What, what else do you have a question about the projects? Seth is saying yeah, use the personal that. option, not the network. Yeah, someone had a question about projects. Go ahead. So uh, I haven't done any projects in MathPass before, yeah. so I don't know what exactly the project is. And yeah, so... expecting from us? Yes, so we will teach you, like I will have videos recorded for you to show you how to use Mabel. It's not like, hey, go use it on your own. No, I'm not going to leave you alone like this. So I'll record videos or maybe meet in the Monday class or any other time to say, hey, guys, this is how you use Maple. That's what I want you to do. For example, like we will show you how to use Maple to solve differential equations, for example. So then I'll, I'll say, hey, solve these equations using Maple, right? Something like that. So all you have to do is just uh, solve it with Mabel and then maybe just export it as a file and upload it to Canvas. I'll make it as easy as I can. I, I, I don't want to go in depth with Mabel. But we, we must use Mabel. This is not like I came up with this. It's, a, it's like when, they, when, we submit the, when we submit the course for approval for the state of California, this was part of it. So we must use Mabel in, the, in, the, in this class. Professor? Yeah. Is, is Mabel anything like MATLAB? Uh, no, no. This is a software that... Uh, so I personally taught it for two years in the past when I was a graduate student, but I taught it in a different way. The way we did it, we used it in... Um, it, when, when I taught Calc 1, we had to use Mabel, and we had actually lab on campus where I was... I used to go into the lab and teach the kids there how to use Mabel uh, based on what we thought in calculus. Let's say we did like infinite geometric series. How can we use that to go um, or use use Mabel to, to apply? It's been a while since I used it. it was, that was back in 2005, 2006. Um, but here I will show you later on how we use it. Don't worry about this part. It should be straightforward and shouldn't be time consuming. So as I said, it's, it's kind of like, think about it as a calculator. So what you do, you, you insert something in the calculator, the calculator will solve it for you. Maybe you put an equation, maybe you put an um, arithmetic operation and the calculator will give you the answers. So Mabel Lab or, or the Mabel thing is gonna give you the same way. It's gonna solve it for you and gives you the work, the solutions. Any other questions? Ask me. So someone is asking, are we only meeting on Mondays to ask questions and all the lectures will be done through YouTube videos? There won't be any live lectures. Um, this is how I said it. I said, we meet on Mondays first to, to take any questions if someone has any. And second, we go over any concepts on the previous sections someone might say go over this concept can you give us more examples on this and then if i see like oh we still have time okay let's move on to the next section and i will do live lecturing and then at the same time i'll record the video but for wednesday i'm going to use the wednesday time to record videos for everything So we can show up on Wednesday if we want, or we can wait for the video. Uh, not the, during the class time, but you can show up on Wednesday for office hours. Done. Yeah. Okay. Anyone has any suggestions for me?
Someone is not happy. Someone is like, oh, what is this? Is that call? It was Albert. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Man, you sold me. No, I, I, I hope it's going to be something like, uh, you know, you have Zoom and you lecture on Zoom live, not like watching a video or something. Okay, but I mean, we, we will, I can do that on Mondays, no problem. The only thing, let me tell you what happens. Uh, sometimes when we do, even like when I'm holding office hours, people come in the middle, like they come late to the lecture, uh -huh. right? And they say, oh, where did you get this from? I say, well, I just explained it 10, 10 15 minutes ago. Oh, can you please go over because I'm not understanding what you're saying. You know, they, I was like, oh my God, what, how am I going to go back? Like, you know, that that's something that I faced as a challenge last, last spring. And then at the same time, people log in and we do mute it automatically, but then they unmute themselves right away. And then you hear dogs in the background and people talking and screaming. I was like, oh my God, please mute your microphones, mute your, I say mute microphones hundred times every class. And people are like, oh, sorry, I forgot. Oh, I didn't pay attention to this. You know, like, so we go through all of this the whole time. And people say, can you record it? So we record it, upload it, and then all this noise is there. And then people start complaining. Oh, it's not like so noisy. And so that's, I was like, oh my, what am I going to do? Maybe the best thing is record videos and upload them. You can go back and watch them anytime. If you do not understand some part of it, it's okay. You can come during office hours or class time and ask, ask me to go over any concept and I will do so. Sure, sure, sure. Do we have to do anything for attendance? Um, no, you don't have to do anything. I can go back to um, Zoom and find out who was on the meeting every time. We, so Zoom keeps track of all of this. So I don't recall names. What else we have questions about? So Albert was the one who was mad? No, 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 I wasn't mad, no. Oh. So last, I mean, I think two semesters ago, I almost broke my foot because of you. Wait, what? No, you had fun. You enjoyed it. <laughs> you loved it. <laughs> Someone saying, Tiffany is saying, so to clarify, only live meetings we have is Monday and not Wednesday. Yes, only Monday, not Wednesday. Wednesdays, I'm going to do recording videos. Ask me more questions, guys. Andrew saying, do we, we must meet on Mondays. Um, it's up to you, seriously, like, but we, I highly recommend you meet on Monday. Let me tell you why. Monday, it's kind of like, it reminds you there's a class and it reminds you, hey, there's deadlines. Please show up to the class. You know, something like that. So Edwin saying, when will the lectures be available? Uh, most likely tonight. You know, I, I will upload after I finish my last class. It's just my last class ends uh, late. But I'll post it as soon as possible. The first section is very easy. It talks about, it gives you an introduction to differential equations. So why do we call it differential equations? Where did the name come from? Does anyone know? Does it come from differentiation? Differentiation, like derivatives. So at derivatives right? Or differentials. So an equation involving derivatives or differentials is called differential equation. So what is an equation? Just an equation. What's the equation? Something you learned back in sixth grade. What is it? A function of some unknown. No. The easiest definition for an equation, it's an expression with an equal sign. Yes, you might, it sounds funny, but that's the definition of an equation. And differential equation is, 
is an equation involving derivatives or differentials. That's what differential equations are about. So in the first section, the first section gives you an introduction for derivatives and differential equations and what's the definition of differential equation. And then it talks about three main things. One, the type of the differential equations we have, how you classify them. We have two different types of differential equations, one called ordinary differential equations and one called partial differential equations. You can take a class called partial differential equations, which not easy to work with. There's a lot of applications in there. Uh, the other one, the ordinary differential equations, those are the fun ones to work with. And what is a partial differential equations? You learn partials in Math 4A. Did, did, did everyone take Math 4A or not? Some, probably some haven't taken a yeah. partial. 4A is the multivariable calculus. That's what yeah, the... it wasn't fun. It wasn't, oh. oh is, is, it is, is it... The vector, vector part. The vector part wasn't that bad, but it would have been more fun if it was in class, like in person. Yes. So it, the summer, which made it less fun, and then the fact that it was online. Yes, so the... I agree, the multivariable, unlike all the other math classes we teach at IVC, in person would be more um, more easier to teach actually because you you work always with the three-dimensional shapes the whole time um, the other thing we have is the order of the differential equation what is an order of a differential equation does it have to do with the exponent has to deal with the exponents not any exponents but the Exponent or the no, not leading order. coefficient. It has to deal with the order of the highest order derivative. Means like, is oh, it a like first? Second yeah, second derivative, third derivative. That's called. Uh, so if it's a third derivative is the highest, then the order is three. If the second derivative is the highest, is a then the order is two. Yeah. And then uh, the next one is how you classify if a di given differential equation is linear or nonlinear linear or nonlinear. I'm not like lecturing the in depth, but I'm just giving you an idea about this section. What's, what is a linear differential equation? Is this when you're comparing two or just a single one? It's a one different, like they will give you one equation. It will tell you, is this linear or nonlinear? Is it something that's related to the continuity? First degree. Um, all the first thing, all the coefficients, they have to be a function in x. All the coefficients, something of function, it can be a function of y. And at the same time, um, uh, the other thing that we have to have all the, the derivatives, they and the y's themselves, they have to be of a first degree. Okay, the, they have to be first degree, like y, y prime, you know, they have to be all first degree otherwise called nonlinear, but it's hard to understand this until you see examples. The other thing that section talks about, which is very easy, um, is how you, they give you a differential equation and they give you the solution to the differential equation. Then they ask you to verify that this solution is actually the solution for that differential equation. And all you have to do is you look at the differential equation. Is there y prime, y double prime? y triple prime so you find all these derivatives from the given solution so the solution will look like y equals something so you find y prime y double prime y triple prime depending how far you have to go and then you substitute them back into the given differential equation and you will get the same results on both sides same results on both sides um, then this means you you are able to verify that the given e solution is a solution for the given differential equation and that's very easy to do. Um, that's what this section is really about. One thing I highly recommend you do today, you know, while you're waiting for a video or something, is go back to CAC 1. And I do mean it, go back to CAC 1. Review all the derivatives. I think it's chapter three. Not the definition of derivative, but how you find derivative of a function using power rule, chain rule. And derivatives for trig functions, inverse trig, review them. Don't look at the formula sheet all the time, but you need to know them by heart, how you, how you use them, how to find derivatives. And then at the same time, today, 
review some integrals, like look back at 3b, what you learned 3b. I think it was chapter 7 or 8, I forgot, maybe chapter 7. So in that chapter, uh, there's one chapter about integrals. Maybe make sure you review at, at least the first one or two sections from that chapter. Very, very important. Anyone has questions for me?